I feel very lazy and unmotivated in life. What is your advice? That's from that guy. Well, if you feel lazy and unmotivated, um, I think you have to find something you're passionate about. Okay, so um, if I was you, I'd try, I would try different things until you find something that's very interesting and, and you have this pull, you know, like I love training MMA. I love, like yesterday I sparred MMA, I had a blast. And it wasn't like a rough sparring, it was just kind of playful sparring and it was little glove sparring and it was takedowns and chokes and get ups and striking. And it's just fun, you know, like if I was passionate about basketball, I would just go to the basketball court and play basketball. I want to do it. And I find it's the best way to lose weight because your mind is so preoccupied with this game you're playing. And then all of a sudden you look down and your body's in shape and you're fit. And it's not like I have to watch that clock on the treadmill. You know, that's just torture, man. Running on a regular basis. I like running when I do it on my, on my, uh, on my, on when I feel like it. How, how should I say? Uh, under the right circumstance, I like running. I like running when it's a sunny day outside. I like running to the park and then I'll shadow box and do a workout in the park and then running back home. That I enjoy because it's a nice sunny day. Running on a treadmill for me is torture. It's torture. Like if, if I'm ever going to do a treadmill workout, which I have in the past, it's like short bursts. Like I'll run for two minutes, one minute off, run for two minutes, one minute off. I'll do three rounds of that and I'm done. And I'll put it on incline and I'll rev it up. But I won't be on the treadmill long because it's just too mentally boring that I just simply don't enjoy it. So I rather develop cardio in other ways. Like I like sprinting over long distance running unless I can make the long distance running enjoyable. Sometimes I have a really good podcast that I want to listen to or a good audiobook, And I'm like, you know what? Let me go for a 45 minute run. And it's going to give me a chance to listen to that podcast. And again, I'm, I'm so into the, what I'm listening to. I'm enjoying the run. So my opinion is find things that you enjoy doing and try to weave fitness in there because fitness is huge because it's going to give you that energy. Okay. So fitness can be, uh, it's, it's a vicious cycle, you know, because fit, if the more fit you are, the more energy you have. So the more, you more, you want to train and it just, you get a positive cycle. Okay. It's a pause. It's an upward spiral, not a downward spiral. Find things you enjoy doing. If you like playing squash, play squash and like whatever sport you enjoy, do it. That's why people always ask me when people ask me things like, Hey, is kettlebell good? I always ask them if you're motivated to work with a kettlebell, if that excites you, if that makes you say, hey, I would like to try that, do it, buy a kettlebell. People ask me, is jump rope good? Are you motivated? Do you like jumping rope? That's really important. Like if you have the most sophisticated program, but you don't do it, it's useless. You know, so me, I always first, the first thing I always look for is what's going to motivate the athlete or the, the person. And I'm going to mold the practice around that because don't forget training is for life. If you're going to do it for life, it better be fun. You know, who wants to run on a treadmill five days a week? And just mindlessly sit there while the minutes tick away. It's just too, it's, it's, tor it's torture. For me, it's torture. Running has to be done in the right circumstance for me personally. Be sure to check out my instructional on the dynamic butterfly guard. In this instructional, I review how to recognize the positive and negative side, which is the initial side you always want to sweep on. Common counters to your opponent's reactions, to common reactions you'll see when you use these butterfly guard attacks. I also show in this video how to use the power slide and power stack to generate a tremendous amount of force to launch your opponent in the air when you are in the butterfly guard. I also cover very key important follow-up guards that connect very well with the butterfly guard. Make sure to pick up this DVD if you want to increase your bottom game. The Butterfly Guard is a key ingredient to a bottom game player. And make sure you tune in and check it out.